we're gonna do a little mini makeover on our bathroom we're gonna actually do this in two parts today I'm hoping to paint the kitchen or paint the kitchen paint the bathroom cabinets they're gonna go in letterpress gray I'm not going to use primer on them because these are in the bathroom so they're not as high use. I'm just going to clean them really well with bathroom cleaner, give them a light sand, and then I'm going to start painting. And then I'm also hoping to replace my shower curtain. Phase two is going to be the walls and the floors. I'll probably do that in the next couple of weeks, but I feel like I could probably get this done in a few hours. We'll see what happens. So first things first, I'm gonna give it a good scrub with the bathroom cleaner. I'll take the doors off. They're all clean and I'm gonna go ahead and get them sanded. I'm just using um, 80 grit on my hand sander and then I will use the orbital on the doors and the drawers that I took off. I'm not worrying about under here because Zeb's gonna replace that with molding that we'll paint because we've got some water damage over here so we're gonna trim out the bottom and that'll cover that up. all the sanding dust let it dry and it will be ready for paint okay so I'm using DIY paint in letterpress gray and it's in a sample jar which is not big enough so I'm gonna pour it in this bowl and if it doesn't if one sample isn't enough I've got an extra backup but we'll see how far it grows Probably more. I'm going to put the lid on and flip this upside down so the rest can fall down. I'm using a Wooster foam brush. You can buy them on Amazon. Doesn't leave brush strokes. I may have to get in here with my French tip, but I'm going to get everything I can with this and then I'll hit the rest with my French tip. So I forgot to tape it off, so I wiped the paint off the wall, which it came off because it's water-based and not sealed yet. And I'm going to come back through here and repaint that. Okay, now I'm painting this side. I've got this taped off and I'm only going to go as far as the baseboard because like I said, that's going to put a piece of trim down here to cover up this water damage. My brush was a little damp because we just washed it, so it's going on a little thin, but the next coat should give us full coverage. So that'll be good. Two coats, hopefully, and done. This is the French tip. This and the DIY paint you can buy at jamierayvintage.com. I am just going to use it to get down into where the cabinet meets the drawer because it is good at getting into tight spots that my foam brush won't reach. I'm just I'm going to get down here in the shot because I'm filming myself and I'm not as good as Zip. I've got 150 on my orbital. I'm going to sand them back in front and the other door is being clamped so I'm going to have to wait a little bit to sand that one but I'll go ahead and get these done and then paint the one side and then when that's dry flip it to the other side. The nice thing about this little project is I'm tag teaming so in order to get it done quicker 
while the base is drying, I'm out here working on these. And when I'm done with these, I'll go in there and paint the base. Then I'll come back, flip these, do the other side. It's a good way to get a project done in less time. Since this is round and I've got square corners, I'm just going to take my sandpaper off and do these edges by hand. All right, let's get rid of all this sanding dust. We'll probably have to pull that off. I'm going to paint the backs of these. And as soon as I get done painting them, I'm actually going to move them inside. It's cold out here and I don't think it'll dry faster on the counter. You wanna do nice thin coats. So get it on there and then you're gonna smooth it out and make sure there aren't any ridges. It does self level so that is a little helpful but this also looks better when you, there we go. I'm not going to paint down on the holes because that's where the hardware goes. Always go with the wood grain, especially on oak because you'll see it a little bit. And there's, look, there's like little corners. I'll come back and get those with my French tip brush. Okay, so I've got my French tip brush. I'm just gonna make sure that there's no puddling in the corners. It likes to do that. And I see some lines. So the best way is seriously just lightly glide it over. And that's how you're gonna get rid of any lines or ridges. So I'm leaving it on the edge here. So that way when I'm ready to move it inside, I don't have to touch the edge. I can just lift it from underneath. Drawers are super easy to paint. <laughs> Nice and flat, these drawer backs. I don't know why I'm worrying about this. This is like the back of the drawer that goes, nobody's gonna see, but. When I'm doing cabinets, I really try to be neat because it's part of your home. It's not a piece of distressed furniture. Okay, so we're just painting the tops. I'm not laying anything down because A, this paint washes off easy and I'm not doing the edges because I already did them. And I did already do a second coat on the bases in the bathroom. So those are drying. And I'm almost ready. I've got one more cabinet door that Zeb repaired that the glue should be dry. So I can go ahead and sand that when I'm done with these. All right, so this color does not go well with this cabinet. So I'm switching it up. Fieldstone Fairy Chalk Mother. You can buy this at jamierayvintage.com. It's lighter. It's more of a grayish, which pulls in the brown tones from the countertop. I'm just gonna use my two inch chiseled brush because it is actually gonna get that paint on there pretty good and fast. You can see the coverage is pretty great. And then when it dries, because I'm using a, not the foam brush, I'm using this brush, I'll just take and do um, 400 grit sandpaper and I'll go over it and smooth it all out so that way you don't see any brush strokes. And hopefully it'll only take two coats of this over the top of this other gray and then we'll be ready to seal. Sometimes you have to change things up. You get things painted and it's just not the right color and even though you're done with the project the way I was with this, you got to start over. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm sealing this in. DIY's Big Top and I'm using my foam brush. I don't carry the foam brushes on my website, but you can buy them on Amazon. And the Big Top you can pick up at jamiereyvintage.com. It's nice, it goes on smooth. It's got a little bit, bit of a sheen, but it's not like crazy shiny. And I'm going to let this dry a couple hours and I'm gonna wind up doing, by the time I'm all done, about three coats and when I'm all done I'm going to take 400 grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand it really smooth. You can do sandpaper between every coat if you want to 
I'm not really that concerned. This is like the side between the toilet and the counter and it's going to have a trash can so and toilet paper roll on it. So I just want to make sure it's smooth when I'm all done. Since we're having to paint these twice, I'm just going to spray the second coat of this filled stone right over the top of this letterpress gray. It should do one coat of coverage with the spray gun and be real quick and dry real fast too. If you've seen our kitchen makeover, I'm doing this the same way that I did the knob install on that other one. I'm just going to actually take my drill bit and mark it right here. And Jamie has chosen these, what are these, silver brush nickel? They're brushed nickel or brushed pewter, I don't know. Brushed pewter. They're That's brushed. what the knobs look like there. They're not super shiny, they're a little dull, but they're still pretty, pretty silvery. They match the door handles and hopefully my new faucet whenever I buy it. Oh, a new faucet for in here. Man, we need to replace the countertop if we're doing a new faucet. The countertop is sad. And I believe you got these knobs. These are Martha Stewart knobs. Where'd you get them from? Home Depot. Just took the ruler from my combination square, measured this way, measured this way, found my center. Now I've got my knob lined up here. I don't want it on the top half. I want it in the center. Oh, she wants it right in the center. Yeah. Okay. Well, I found center on here, so that'll work. So I guess if you really just want to just wing it, just do whatever you want and wing it. <laughs> Don't worry about finding center. A hole right above that, and a hole right above that. I'm gonna put my other hole right here, you know, so it's kind of crooked. I just swept. Well, you're gonna have to sweep again. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, so that needs to be recessed down because these sit flush on the drawer. So, I'm just gonna recess this a little bit so that my screw head has a place to go. Uh, don't, drill, don't drill through the counter when we get the counter real soon. Yeah. Sooner than I want to. That's Baby steps. Sure. We just buy it as we can afford it. I feel like then it's mostly right. So my pilot hole is 13 16 and gives me a little bit of room to have a little wiggle room to center this up if I'm off on my hole a little bit. If you haven't noticed, Jamie loves cup holes. They're right. classic. Cabinets are done. We used fairy chalk mother in fieldstone and sealed them with big top and then the hardware is from Home Depot and it's from the Martha Stewart line and I think it's galvanized actually, like a galvanized. brushed galvanized. Yeah, it definitely has, it's not like super shiny like chrome. Yeah, I wanted something a little farmhouse and I'm hoping it'll match. I ordered a new faucet so that'll be... Oh you did? I That's did. news to me. Off of Amazon. <laughs> Must have been at like four in the morning when she wakes up and can't sleep. And no, she gets on there and I think it was yesterday it. while I was waiting at the urgent care. Oh I see. And I also ordered a new uh, shower head because that one leaks like sprays water everywhere. So. That's not good. I don't need to be fixing <laughs> any leaks. This I already had a, water damage on the floor. Th this is a really simple and quick DIY. This bathroom is going to get a few other things done to it over the next probably month. I don't know that this little sign that's up here, I don't know if you can see it, if it's going to make it. But. Yeah, we're thinking either shelves or a cabinet back there. But our main goal is to update it, but not spend a ton of money. And so far we've been pretty successful at that. Even the new faucet I bought, I think was like $25 on Amazon. So how much are we into it? Um, if you include the new shower curtain, the floors, the paint, I think we're like at 150 right now. Yeah, the flooring was 30, $34, yeah, $34 for a box. And that video is going to be next, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, the notifications so that way you will get to watch the flooring video too. It was really simple and we literally used one box of flooring, it was $34. I have a lot left over actually. Yeah, and we're going to use the leftovers when we redo our master bath. So. 
But these cabinets were uh, simple, easy, you know. I would say if you want to, to paint cabinets, maybe start with your bathroom because it's smaller than a kitchen. Yeah, these, I mean, we ended up spraying these after we changed the color, but they looked okay brushed. They looked great. So you yeah. could totally just brush them in place if you didn't even want to take them off in your own home. The foam brush I bought on Amazon, but the other brushes that I used are Jamie Ray Vintage are at jamierayvintage.com along with the field stone which is a chalk paint from fairy chalk mother and the diy big top which is what i use to seal it i wound up doing three coats total of sealer just want to make sure that it's nice and durable so be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy <laughs> <laughs>